it's difficult to digest defeat, especially a bad defeat, you know. When Indian team tries hard, you know, and goes down fighting, we kind of appreciate it. But sometimes, like yesterday, what Sri Lanka did, they could not put up a fight at all. Some of their batsmen would be maybe dropped from the team because of the way they played. It was not just the Indian bowling. It was stupid batting as well, irresponsible batting. Why were they trying to hit big shots? In that kind of situation, when your team is down by four or five wickets in first five overs, then your bat, uh, we call it bat swing. Bat swing becomes small. You know, you bat lift, back lift, okay? You don't have a bat, big back lift. You just sp sp stop the ball, play the ball. Push it in the you know gaps and take ones and twos because you know you don't have wickets. Still, you are trying to hit sixes. So it was poor batting performance. It was a fantastic bowling from India. Siraj did something that was unbelievable in one over four wickets. I think he could have taken six wickets in one over yesterday. The way he was bowling, my God. So, hmm. because it doesn't move very, you know, fast, it goes like. I'm very old now. I cannot walk very fast. Please put up with me. So I said, just relax. You need to relax. You're old. Mm, yeah, nice one. 10 plus 10 is 20 and 10, 11 plus 11 is 22. So they are equal. Okay. Good one. What is the difference between uh, simple and even perfect? Eats and has eaten, goes and has gone, plays and has played. That's the difference. Sir, uh, like simple thought and uh, simple No. Went. Yes. Has gone. Yes. Kept has kept. Lived has lived. That's the difference. Good thing, sir. Uh, as, as if, uh, hello, Rakhi, as if it is no longer related to the present. It is an event in the past, finished in the past, finished actions in the past. Okay. And it doesn't have any results on the present. It has no bearing on the present. It has? No bearing on the present. Right. And the present perfect is always connected with the present. Yeah, that's why it is the present perfect. The name itself is present. Yes. The incident happened in the past, no doubt. Present perfect refers to something that has already happened. So happened means it is past, but connected with the that's why it is present perfect. But my question is present perfect. Keep learning. Then had you uh, gone to play cricket yesterday, sir? Did you go? Okay. I arrived very late. Yesterday. Yeah. And uh, I know my advice will be useless for you because you are a prisoner of people's perception, people's opinion. You are not an independent person. You are a prisoner. You are you 
are a prisoner, not physically, mentally you are a prisoner. You are not independent. You do things always what keeping people's reaction in mind. You don't do anything for yourself what you want to do. You do things keeping other people's reaction in mind. Sometimes it's bigger to keep other reaction. No, you want approval. You want You want people's approval. You want uh, your peer group to think of you as a hero. I don't want. I don't want to believe that you are not aware of the dangers of you know tobacco. I don't want to believe that you are not aware aware of the dangers of tobacco. But you had tobacco in your mouth yesterday. Yes. So why would you do that? Do you want to say to me you are um, weak, you are an addict, you are unable to help it? If that is the case, then I will take it. I'll say simply, I'm sorry for you and I'll do what I can. But I don't think you are not aware and it is your weakness. You do it because you believe that it makes you look cool in people's opinion and they will think of you as a cool person. So why did you have tobacco in your mouth? Uh, so you so you are saying you like having um, suppose I give you something that tastes great but you know that it is going to kill you uh, now what will you do will you take it or not it tastes great you will love the taste I guarantee then so you are saying that you are weak here Sometimes you are just weak then if you're not weak, then why would you have it? We are on a cricket field. Cricket yes. field is related to health or not. Yes, and you came to a place where people are doing something about their health with tobacco in your mouth. Look at this. <laughs> you were not, you were not, we were not in a club where we were drinking, having fun. We were in a ground where we were playing cricket. Cricket is associated with being healthy. Any sport you do, you are healthy when you do sport and somebody comes drunk or eating, having a tobacco in their mouth to a, to a club, to, to, sorry, to a cricket ground or to a sports place, okay? It's like going with, inside the mosque or temple with your footwear on. It's an insult to the whole idea. If I was the authority there, I would have asked you to leave right there that you are not allowed. Because personally, I feel all kinds of boys, quarrelsome boys, they're all welcome because they're there to play, fear, you know, compete and all. Sports has very, you know, sports have a very big, big role in life. They teach us a lot of things, right? And again, I'm just thinking, okay, fine. It's you, you have tobacco, that's okay. But on a cricket ground, do you see the problem here? And uh, be smart, boy, be smart. Yes. Nobody else will pay the price Answer. for you, Mr. You will. Yes. Nicholas. Yeah, sorry to interrupt. I thought like it is over. That's why I asked. Yeah, it is I was asking ahead, like, no. uh, uh, like what is difference between like, uh, if I had asked you that had you gone to uh, play cricket yesterday, then what does this mean? Past perfect is not used to refer to the past time only. <laughs> Normally, if you are referring to a past time, then you use the past simple tense to refer yes. to any finished action in the past. Yes. Yesterday, mm -hmm. we played cricket. Correct? Yes. Yesterday? Yes. Question? Did you play cricket? Yes. Very simple. Why would you say had you? Because in your childhood, unfortunately, 
योर टीचर्स टॉट यू खेले थे कल क्रिकेट खेले थे हैड यू प्लेड क्रिकेट एम आई राइट वो तो चुका था तब तो समझ में आता है एटलीस्ट यू वोट बी फॉल ग्रामेटिकली रॉन्ग चुका था एज लॉन्ग एज कैन ही आस्क दिस सेंटेंस क्या आप खेल चुके थे नहीं यू विल नॉट बी एबल टू ही विल आस्क क्या आप खेले थे क्या हाँ इट इज दी ओनली राइट टेंस इयर डिड यू प्लेट क्रिकेट ये Hmm. Past perfect is used in a different situation, Nikhil. Let me quickly give you yes. an answer to this. Where we use the past perfect? So first yes. of all, past perfect is used when you already have divided past in two parts by mentioning a moment, by talking about some event. You divide the past into two parts: the event that you mention. the past before that and the past after that yesterday i woke up around 7 o'clock okay now the moment i said this line what did what this line did is it divided the past into two parts the time the past before i woke up and the past after i woke up it happened automatically any time you mention any past tense Sentence, past simple sentence. Mention anything. Say anything. In nineteen ninety nine, I was in college. Okay, so when I said this in nineteen ninety nine, I was in college. Now, what happened automatically? There was a time period before nineteen ninety nine, and there was a time period after nineteen ninety nine. any time you mention anything about the past it will automatically divide the past into two parts the past before that event and past after that event past perfect only occurs to refer to those events that happened in the past of that event that you mentioned okay. um when i said it, i was in 99 in 1999 i was in college okay and anything that i refer to which was before this i can use past perfect but if i refer to time period after 1999 i cannot use past perfect past perfect is the past of past simple past of past simple simply understand it this way past perfect is the past of past simple it is not past simple it is past of past simple then it is past perfect Hmm. Uh, let me try and explain this. So, a boy comes into the class. The teacher says, "Hey, you're late today. Why? You are late today. Present, na? Yes. So why? Why are you late? So he is going into the past of the present to answer, sir. My cycle, my 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 bicycle broke down, sir." my my bicycle broke down sir all right simple answer my bicycle broke down sir okay all right fine but in situ situation is the teacher didn't ask uh, why he was late he came he sat when the class was over then the teacher said why were you late today why were you late now he has to go into the past past of this past simple so he yeah, he could say oh my bicycle had broken down my bicycle had broken down so when the teacher asks in the present why are you late he says my bicycle broke down and when the teacher asks why did you come late why were you late then he says my bicycle had broken down so past perfect is the past of Okay, so basically you are saying past perfect perfect is the past of past simple. Yeah, that's great.
So, are we ready to um, roll? Are we ready to roll? Um, there was there were a couple of sentences left that we are going to finish. The last text. Chocolate chip cookies. Chocolate chip cookies. What Americans call cookies are usually called biscuits in the U. What Americans call cookies are usually called biscuits in the UK. What you call bravery is absolute stupidity in my, in my, in my opinion. opinion. What you call bravery, bravery. is is what you call bravery is absolute stupidity in my opinion. No. Good. This is why a spoken English class has to be interactive. Every sentence, when you are trying to develop a skill as, a, as an adult, how do I explain this to people who think that YouTube can teach them spoken English? YouTube can give you listening experience, which is very valuable. I absolutely agree. But if you have thoughts in your mind, you need to share them with your teacher, yes. with the guide you have, the trainer you have, to feel confident about what you have thought. And this is natural if you do not get validation for those thoughts, if you do not get approval for what you have thought, you will stay in doubt. It happens with adults. I have been a learner and I know that. Confusion and lack of confidence and a lot of things, you see. So for an adult to learn a language and for a child to learn a language are two different things. So... Uh, good observations, both of you. You realize that it is not a, in, an interrogative question sentence. Very good. You realize that uh, bravery is a noun. Good. And again, a traditional person says this line. Okay. What women call women empowerment. Uh, what women call empowerment is, is a total nonsense. Okay. What women call empowerment is a, or uh, yeah, what women call women empowerment, what people, uh, show, show the women, what people call women empowerment is an absolute nonsense in my opinion. Is a total nonsense in my opinion. Hmm. So, yeah, what can Hindi kya hogi kya? Main batau, sir. Haan, please. Haan. Jisko Americans cookies kahte hai, usko usually hmm. uh, UK mein biscuit kaha jata hai. Perfect, Paisan. Hmm, absolutely. तुम जिस चीज को पैसे की बर्बादी कहते हो मेरे हिसाब से वो बहुत बढ़िया इन्वेस्टमेंट है फ्यूचर में इज इज अ गुड इन्वेस्टमेंट फॉर द फ्यूचर और अ गुड इन्वेस्टमेंट uh yeah for your future in my opinion okay and that what what you call uh paise ki barbadi ka what you have nikhil your audio is rather quiet today and sometimes it is too loud but it is rather quiet today uh, was is, louder. is it fine yeah okay so i was asking like uh what uh what did you call uh about paise ki barbadi 
a waste of money a waste of money okay fine fine yeah okay so what you call uh, a waste of money is uh, an investment or a wastage of money what you call what you call a wastage of money is a good an investment. investment for the future okay okay what you call a uh, uh, waste of a uh, money as a girlfriend is a uh, very peaceful for someone <laughs> can you say that again please <laughs> Sir, I, I, uh, I know, sir. My sentence not good, but sir, uh, what Can you, what you call, uh, what you call, uh, girlfriend, a uh, girlfriend is waste of uh, money, but uh, see, girlfriend, uh, is uh, very important for someone. Yes. What you think is love is actually what you think is love okay is actually just infatuation. Okay. All right. Infatuations yeah. of your hormones. Yeah. Okay, so we can think of so many similar sentences starting with what? Uh, let's have some more. Not only with what, let's try with other question words. Why she comes here is still a mystery. Why she comes here is still a, still a mystery. Why she loves me so much is still pretty confusing to me. It's still pretty, you know, um, yeah, I don't understand. Okay. Why she loves me so much is still, still beats me. Why she loves me so much still beats me. Okay. Beats me, Okay. Why she loves me so much still beats me. Why does she love me? Why does she love me? Why does she Why does she love me? Does she use Why does she love me? 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 Why does आप ससुराल से गिफ्ट लेके आए जहां चाहेंगे वहां लगाएंगे प्रेजेंट सिंपल में क्यों लगाएंगे हम बोलते हैं ना आई डज लव ही डज लव ऐसे बोले क्या कहां लगाते डज क्वेश्चन सेंटेंस में ना जब इंट्रोगेटिव करते तो डज लगाते जब कहते ही लव मी ओके व्हाई डज ही लव मी डज किस लेता डज किस लेता does she love me so much? Beats me. Okay. Why she loves me so much? Beats me. Still beats me. Okay. So, Lord, data. Do say examples. Why people fail to learn English is not rocket science. Why people fail to learn to speak English is not rocket science. Anyone can understand that. Anybody with common sense. Okay, easier sentences for you all. I know where she lives. Or where she lives, I know. इसलिए तो मैं इसके शुरू कर वो वाला सेंटेंस सब लोग कंफर्टेबल है बहुत अच्छा थैंक यू फॉर दैट आई नो वेयर शी लिव्स ये वाले लाइन पे आप लोग एलिमेंट्री में ही आप लोग सीख गए ये वाला लाइन लेकिन उसको आगे ले आते हो ना वेयर शी लिव्स इज अ सीक्रेट यस 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 वेयर शी लिव्स इज अ 
सीक्रेट ओके सो क्लियर है आप लोग को इसका हिंदी जो भी करना आप करिए लेकिन ये सवाल नहीं है आप जहाँ बोले कहाँ बोले डज मैटर हिंदी में फ्रीडम है आपको आप जैसे बोले हिंदी इज मदर टंग ओके आपके स्टैंडर्ड हिंदी है सब स्टैंडर्ड हिंदी है एंड आई एम नो एक्सपर्ट ऑन हिंदी तो आई एम नो बडी टू चल यू दिस हिंदी इज राइट दैट हिंदी इज नॉट राइट आप जैसे चाहे हिंदी बोले बट ये सवाल ये सेंटेंस वेर शी लिव ना डज लगा दूंगा जैसे ही मैं वेर डज शी लिव तो मैं पूछ रहा हूँ कहाँ रहती है मैंने कहाँ पूछा मैंने पूछना ही नहीं था तो वाई वुड आई पुट डज देर does is used before the subject do does these words come before the subject? to make a sentence question so jab aap bolte ho where do you live so do you live matlab kya hota hai tum rehte ho yahi hota hai iska hindi yahi hai do you live matlab tum rehte ho theek hai where kahan tum kahan rehte ho where do you live do you live matlab rehte ho tum rehte ho you live do you live khali question isme do hai हिंदी में नहीं कुछ लगता हिंदी में बोलते तुम रहते हो कहा तो डू हाँ है इंग्लिश के ग्रामर के लिए हिंदी का कोई लेना देना नहीं है वे जैसे हिंदी बोलते तुम रहते हो तुम कहा रहते हो यू लिव वे डू एक नया वर्ड लाया लाए सिर्फ और सिर्फ इंग्लिश ग्रामर फॉलो कर रहे राइट हिंदी से कोई कनेक्शन डू का नहीं सो वेर शी लिव इज अ सीक्रेट Sir, uh, where you, uh, where you are, I miss you. This is the correct sentence. No, 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 no. You need to understand a uh, basic idea of what a subject is in a sentence, guys. You uh, see, when we say subject, then you normally think subject means either a person or a noun. That's it. But subject can be a whole. Uh, group of words like where she lives in this sentence is a secret here the subject is where she lives yes sir where she lives is the subject and is a secret is is the verb be verb okay where she lives is not a secret so don't try and act smart i'll find out okay there are people who know where she lives yes. so don't tell me that if you don't won't tell me i won't know where she lives is not a secret again yes is where she where? lives a secret yeah. is where she lives a secret question is sir where she lives ko subject samajhne bhar ki zarurat hai uske baad ye ek simple sa sentence hai yes where she lives is a secret to so, yahan subject kya hai where yes. she lives is sentence mein subject kya hai what americans call cookies are usually called biscuits in the uk what What American call cookies? And the, uh, why? Why in my sentence is not a, a group of sentence uh, where you are? Hindi me bolie to usko. Say that Tum in Hindi. Ho? <laughs> where are you? बट ये तो क्वेश्चन हो गया ना सर मैं क्वेश्चन नहीं कर रहा मान लीजिए मेरे सामने है वो मेरे सामने है वो और मैं उससे नाराज हो तुम्हारी गलतियां मुझे फील कराती है बिकॉज आई एम वेरी कंफर्टेबल विद यू आई एम दिस ओके अदरवाइज आई वुड रिफ्रेन फ्रॉम सेइंग दिस कभी कभी फैजान की गलतियां मुझे महसूस कराती है कि मुझे दो तीन साल फैजान के साथ रहना होगा कितने साल तीन साल रहना होगा <laughs> पक्का <laughs> क्योंकि वो कह रहे हैं कि सामने तो क्वेश्चन नहीं है मेरी बात सुनो भले ही इसको ऐसे क्वेश्चन जिसका आंसर की उम्मीद नहीं करी जा रही है उसको रिटोरिक्स कहते हैं क्या कहते हैं बट रिटोरिक क्वेश्चन ही है वो सामने है कोई आदमी और उसका आप करें वे वर यू कोई दिक्कत नहीं है ठीक है अच्छा तो सामने है तो तुम क्या कह रहे हो फैजान कहाँ हो तुम मैंने तुम्हें बहुत मिस किया There you are, अच्छा तो मैं बता देते हैं ये क्वेश्चन सेंटेंस ही माना जाएगा ओके ठीक है क्योंकि आप जो बोल रहे हैं वो स्टेटमेंट नहीं है वो क्वेश्चन है कहा थे तुम जीते दिन कितना मिस किए तुमको हम राइट वेर हैव यू बीन वेर 
yeah yeah just want to say one thing but i don't know if you will care um you are a little bit uh you have your own mind and the thing is like i i would say you can ignore all my advice related to your life and everything else yes. but when i give you advice about english yes. then you better not in, you know ignore it um yes. because it's in your interest to follow my advice uh adnan you are there in unit 11 right Unit 11, I'm teaching in the class before yours, okay? And unit 12 is last. I want you to be there. It will be, you will thank me later. If you studied hard for this 15, 20 days in that batch, you will thank me uh, later. That thank you for inviting. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. You know, if you're not friends with them, because you will study together, I know. But sometimes people who study together at school become enemies with each other. Okay, that fine then. ट्रू what are you going okay. to start sir can i be invited there you can also do that class nikhil anybody anybody and all of you guys i don't think rakhi needs it <laughs> i don't think uh, sahil need it sahil needs it uh, because these guys have been very sincerely you know studying things but the, everybody else can benefit from the last 20 25 days of uh, this uh, batch elementary. elementary today is the 18th and i'm saying 20 days already right oh my god i was supposed to start the batch in the first week or the second week of october i have to go very yeah, fast going to, oh, going to going to end yes going to be over so sir, sir you are saying like you will start a new batch uh, there we have to come or what you are saying no 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 i want you guys to start from tomorrow last 20 25 days of the elementary course you know oh. and sarita you if you are pre online you know attend that class as well sarita i think it will help you okay oh, what time quietly, the, quietly. how i will find uh, the last uh, 22 days classes sir from tomorrow you will join yeah, from tomorrow i can join uh, the yes, same link that's all i'm asking Yeah, the link is the same. Timing is four thirty. Okay. Time is four thirty evening. Again, the time. Four thirty to six. The class before yours. Okay. And and when so when you will to... teach this in morning, sir? Uh, in uh two months time. Uh, okay. Forty five days time. If I can join. Uh, yeah. Four yeah. Yeah. Then. Again. Again, it is a suggestion. it is just mm -hmm. a suggestion and i'm not going mm -hmm. to feel bad if anybody or people do not turn up if they don't attend i'm not going to take it personally i want to make it very clear to you guys i had to work mm -hmm. hard to become the way i am now i don't take these things personally i want to convey this to my students as well okay mm -hmm. it is a piece of advice you guys are struggling with the present perfect we work on the most basic ideas of the present perfect in unit 12 okay and because okay. you will be there for to understand the present perfect and past simple difference it, because you are coming for the specific purpose of course you will pay attention to what i have to say there and it will help you a lot okay sir so sure. okay what americans call cookies are usually called biscuits in the uk 
how the thieves entered the room is still pretty much unclear. How the thieves entered the room, entered the house, is still very much unclear. So, where she goes at midnight is not the question we are trying to answer. हम इस सवाल का जवाब नहीं ढूंढ रहे हैं कि वो कहाँ आधी रात में कहाँ जाती हम इस सवाल का जवाब ढूंढ रहे हैं कि क्या उसने मर्डर किया है कि है ना ऑलराइट सो तुम डर गए ओके वेयर शी गोज एट मिडनाइट इज नॉट the point okay uh, the point is whether or not she has committed the murder okay <laughs> the theft okay what americans call cookies are usually called biscuits in the uk but even the british say chocolate chip cookie <laughs> okay this is very interesting usually british people use no problems nikhil usually british people you know is it mine now yours okay usually british people uh, use the word biscuit instead of cookies what americans call cookies are called biscuits in the uk but even the british say chocolate chip cookie <laughs> they don't call it chocolate chip biscuit they call it chocolate chip cookie and i know the reason i think uh maybe it's the most famous cookie it's the most famous cookie and it was first made by accident it's the most famous cookie and it was first made by accident uh, do i have to highlight that it's the most famous cookie we have the superlative adjective the most famous yes. and all this you understand right it's the most famous cookie and it was first made by accident so the phrase is by accident in hindi is a galti say i hit you by accident when it was a galti smart i hit you by accident by accident unintentionally by accident so ab hum by kyu through kyu nahi kare aisa kuch nahi hota just a fixed phrase fixed phrase ba ar bar bar ye sab sawal unke zehen mein zyada aate hain जो कम समय में ज्यादा सीखना चाहते हैं लालची लोग ज्यादा परेशान होते हैं जो मेहनती है ना समय देना चाहते हैं इंग्लिश को उनको आदत पड़ जाएगी बाय एक्सीडेंट बाय एक्सीडेंट पांच बार सुनेंगे उनके मुंह से क्या निकलेगा बाय एक्सीडेंट हाण में गया क्यों 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 राइट जो एक बार पढ़ेंगे कहेंगे बाय एक्सीडेंट क्यों है थ्रू एक्सीडेंट क्यों तो तुम भैया इंग्लिश को क्वेश्चन करोगे कि इंग्लिश सीखोगे सवाल यह ये क्यों नहीं वो क्यों है इट वॉज फर्स्ट मेड बाई एक्सीडेंट इन दाइनटीन थर्टीज मैरी वेकफील्ड रैन अटेल इन दाइनटीन थर्टीज मैरी वेकफील्ड रैन अटेल कॉल द टॉल हाउस इन इन मैसेच्यूसे ओके इन नाइनटीन थर्टीज मैरी वेकफील्ड वॉट अ नेम मैरी Mary Wakefield, uh, ran a hotel, ran a hotel, ran a shop, ran a business, chalana. Okay. okay, ran a hotel called the Tall House Inn. By the way, the word I double N Inn is an another word for restaurant. Okay, it's an old-fashioned word. In the old times, there were inns where people could stay, have their meals, and all. Okay, nowadays the word inn is limited to the names of the hotels and restaurants only. to the names only people do not use the word in in conversation sentences there was a time when in was in use okay maybe 100 years ago 70 years ago 80 years ago okay yes in the 1930s mary wake wakefield ran a hotel she ran a hotel called the tall house in okay in massachusetts us she was a great cook what was the name of the 
hotel? The tall house in. Okay. What is, does the word tall mean? T double O tall? No, it is a name. You know what? Uh, even Joseph has a meaning. <laughs> even John has a meaning. Actually, uh, these traditional names, Joseph and John, they find their origin in the Bible, by the way. Okay. And uh, so, tall is not a proper noun like normal proper noun. Yes, here it is a proper noun, but it is a word in English, T O L L, tall. Okay. Which means damage and which means money that you pay. Tall uh, booth, toll booth. Just for toll, bolte nam look, toll. Toll gate. bolte hai. चलो जरा देखें डिक्शनरी में आओ मैंने कभी देखा नहीं है मैं अपने हिसाब से बता रहा हूँ क्योंकि मुझे पता है ये लेकिन एक जस्ट ए सेंस ऑफ डाउट जस्ट यू नो क्रिप्ट इन या टोल या टोल 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 प्रोनंसिएशन इस राइट टोल ओके डी प्रोनंसिएशन इस टोल हाउएवर यस टोल ओके टोल डी प्रोनंसिएशन इस टोल डी डेथ � you know, I have been saying it has been taking a toll on my health. Okay, toll. I have not been pronouncing it, this word so correctly. It should be pronounced exactly like go, bowl, toll. All right, exactly like that. Okay, bowl, toll. Okay, uh, toll. I see toll, toll tax. Yeah, toll. That's the right pronunciation, toll. So toll basically means, uh, you know, damage, deaths, especially deaths. Uh, that happen uh, in an accident. So we say the that toll is uh, going to rise, means more people will be counted as dead. Okay, take a look. A charge payable to use a bridge or road, first of all, money that you pay, that's why they are called toll naka. You're paying some money to pay uh, because you use the road, the toll tax, yeah? Okay. And toll is the toll of dead and injured mounted means increased okay and toll is also used as uh, a damage like uh, teaching speaking for 10 hours a day takes its toll on my voice like yeah so okay so we use it that way as well okay and an idiom so the sentence was here toll the toll house in the toll house in, in the name of the restaurant was hotel was toll house toll in house. Uh, she was a great cook and her guests loved her cookies she was a great cook and her guests loved her cookies one day she was making chocolate cookies when she discovered she didn't have any baking chocolate baking chocolate was a special type of chocolate right that you could put uh, to bake and it would maybe, you know, swell and all. Baking chocolate. She had some ordinary Nestle chocolate. Chocolate. She had some ordinary Nestle chocolate. Okay, ordinary chocolate that people eat. Okay. So she used that instead. She used that instead. So instead of using baking chocolate, she used the ordinary Nestle chocolate. Instead of using... Uh, she used the ordinary chocolate, Nestle chocolate. Okay. So instead of, everybody knows. Now we put the word instead at the end. Okay. I didn't go. I sent an envelope instead. I didn't. I sent an envelope with 500 rupees instead. Okay. Like that. So you understood. Instead of going, I sent an envelope. Okay. Hmm. So she used that instead. And we don't pronounce it instead. So all those who are sitting here listening to me should know that I pronounced it okay. instead. Instead. So I didn't say instead. It's not instead. Instead. She broke it into small pieces. She broke it into small, small pieces and mixed it into the cookie dough as usual. She broke it into small pieces, the normal chocolate, ordinary chocolate. She broke it into small pieces and mixed it, mixed the broken pieces into the cookie dough. Dough, 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 dough is the, the wet 
uh, mix, what do I say? Like the, yeah, exactly. The wet lump of flour, right, with the water, the th thing you make that is called dough. Okay, D O U G H, dough. How do you pronounce it? Dough. Look at the spelling D O U G H, dough. Okay. So she put the you know pieces into the dough, and uh, uh, the as usual the chocolate always melted in the oven to produce dark brown cookies. So earlier, what happened when she used the baking chocolate? The chocolate melted in the oven and it produced brown, dark brown cookies. Okay, chocolate cookies. But the Nestle's chocolate didn't melt enough. It melted, but it didn't melt enough. It didn't melt enough. It didn't melt enough. There were pieces of it. There were still pieces of it in the cookies when they came out of the oven. There were, there were still some pieces, just like this. Uh, Mary tried one of the cookies and it was delicious. <laughs> she didn't even think of making this, right? Such a great accident, Mary. Uh, some people are lucky, you know. It was delicious. Her guests agreed. Her guests agreed. I mean, they also thought the same. They, they thought it was delicious. And Mary's Toll House Crunch Cookies became a popular treat. Suddenly, they started calling that Mary Toll House Crunch Cookies. Toll House, because it was Toll House in... I don't Toll House or like cookies. Toll House Crunch Cookies. Okay, became a popular treat. Became a popular treat. Means uh, if somebody wanted to have something good, bhai, there is an occasion, let's celebrate it. Oh, let's go to Toll House. We will enjoy Toll House Crunch Cookies there. It became a popular treat. Okay. You don't have to tell me, Nikhil, because I put you inside. Oh, perhaps you were you never uh, left. I, okay, I okay. never left. <laughs> yeah, I know. You didn't leave the meeting. You just left physically the class, uh, the virtual class. Okay, you went somewhere else, perhaps. Yeah, you got, this. Yeah. got it, got yeah. it, got it. Okay. All right, thank you for informing. Because when the students don't, and if I'm talking to them and I don't get a response, it does feel bad, you know. The worst in moment in an online class is when I call out the students' names and I don't get a response from them. <laughs> yeah, that's the worst moment in an online class. Yes, and worst. maybe maybe you are trying to say something specific to me and I was not there. And you yeah. thought, okay, I got yeah. it. <laughs> so that yeah. could be a yeah. misunderstanding. Right. Okay. So people often came to uh, her place Okay, for these things. After Mary published the recipe in a local newspaper, after Mary published the recipe in a local newspaper, Nestle's notice Nestle Nestle's noticed something strange. Nestle is the name of the company. They noticed something strange. There was a huge increase in sales of their chocolate bars. There was a huge increase in the sales of their chocolate bars in sales of their chocolate bars but only in massachusetts because the new local newspaper it was and excuse me they, sir uh, yes that is nestle age or nestle was or nestle's it's the name of the company nestle's okay it is totally i thought like only nestle's company name okay nestle's mm -hmm. They discovered that Mary's recipe was the reason uh, why their sales increased in Massachusetts only. Because it was a local newspaper. It didn't go everywhere. So their sales only increased in Massachusetts because people started trying that recipe. And they all started buying Nestle's chocolate. Yeah, ordinary chocolate. They discovered that Mary's recipe was the reason. And asked, they asked, if they could put it on all their chocolate bars. They asked her if they could use the recipe on all their chocolate bars. They wanted to put the recipe on the chocolate bars. People could enjoy the chocolate and could also try the chocolate chip cookie recipe. Mary agreed 
and received a lifetime supply of chocolate in return. <laughs> I think they got a very cheap deal. Very cheap deal. How many? Cho how much chocolate can a person eat? You know, how much chocolate can a person eat in this? Uh, yeah. You have a business mind, you know. Okay, Mary agreed and received a lifetime supply. Lifetime supply. Notice the way it's written. A lifetime supply. Zindagi varusko chocolate milega in return. Okay, lifetime supply of chocolate in return. Hindi sab log samaj jate hain. Samajdar log jo hote hain. They can understand the Hindi of a sentence by looking at the words, arranging the words. But that doesn't help them with their English. To learn English, they need to appreciate the word order and the forms of the words. So pay attention to the word order. Repeat the word order in your mind. Okay. Um, let me tell you, dear Nikhil. Sometimes a person's name, okay, when they start a company, um, they just put a, an apostrophe S and it becomes a company. All right. Nestle could be the man who started this. Nestle could be the surname of that person who started this company. If you do the search in online search, you will find that the person who started this company perhaps had a surname called with Nestle. That's why the company was called Nestle. Yeah. All right. Yes, yes. That was Henry Nestle, actually. Mm, yeah. yeah. Right. These are, these are patterns in English. A lot of restaurants, cafes are also named after the owner with an apostrophe. That's it. There, yeah. there is uh, Tendulkar's. There is Tendulkar's in India. There is Ganguly's in India. These are, I think, very hi-fi restaurants owned by Tendulkar and Ganguly. And they're, they're called Tendulkar's. That's it. Tendulkar apostrophe is Tendulkar's. Ganguly's apostrophe is that's it. It's a very common pattern in English to name your company or your, you know, enterprise just with an apostrophe of your name. That's how our institute is called. No, Sony's tutorial classes. Our surname is. So we have been following these patterns since, uh, since the beginning, actually, because like I tell, told you guys that we have never tried to Okay, for a long time, our teaching system was, a teaching methodology was copy of other teachers we had studied from. But over time, we outgrew them, okay? We had to. Billi ka bachcha aur shir ka bachcha saath bada hoga, toh billi ka bachcha shir nahi banega, woh ruk jayega. Shir ka bachcha bada hota jayega. Shuru mein park nahi tada chalna, right? So eventually, it is your own ability, ability to apply yourself, okay? So Sony's tutorial classes. In 2006 or 5, you would see S-O-N-I apostrophe S. And after 2008, you would start to see, uh, or after 2006, you would start to see S-O-N-I-S apostrophe. Because I was also a teacher here now. In 2006, I joined. In 2007, 8, I had become a full-time teacher. You know, I was teaching morning to evening. So the name of the institute was no longer S-O-N-I apostrophe S. It was S-O-N-I-S apostrophe because we were two Sony's plural, Sony's apostrophe tutorial classes. Okay. Which logo was my cable to take it tutorial or classes exat rakhe before English nai pata tutorial. I'm going to put a tutorial now we have adjective we are there. Okay. Let's continue. They discovered that Mary's recipe was the reason. Oh, we, we, we were done with that. Mary agreed and received a lifetime supply of chocolate in return. So pay attention to the order, word order. Pay attention to the form of the word, not the Hindi anymore. Yeah. Hindi just once. Okay, after that, only the words in English, the phrases in English. That should be your focus. Nestle's later, Nestle's later made bags of chocolate chips. Nestle's did what? They later made bags, later, later, in later in time, okay? They made bags of chocolate chips for people to bake with. So they started a new product, special chocolate chips for baking. Small, small chocolate chips. Chips means you understand? Small, okay? 
they made, made uh, bags of chocolate chips for people to bake with. To bake with. bake with. They could bake with this chocolate instead of using the bar later. And so the chocolate chip cookie became a favorite in America. 3.5 billion are sold there every year. And around the world. But uh, 3.5 billion are sold only inside America. Okay, they became a favorite in America and around the world. But 3.5 billion are sold there every year. Oh, what, uh, what un uh, unbelievable stories these are. That these, some people just, be, I mean, initially should be thankful to, should be grateful to Mary, you know, that they, she gave them an idea of chocolate chip cookies. And sir, why there is uh, two, uh, uh, pros, uh, what is that called, post office, I mispronounced it, uh, in the Nestle? Oh, that's not called apostrophe. Okay, the person who started this was clearly not from the US or England or origin, must have been from some other place. Because when you have this accent mark, this usually exists in Italian language or some other oh, language. I know okay. in Italian they have this. So Nestle, okay, think of it. If you have E at the end of a word in English, that E doesn't have a sound. F-I-N-E. Fine. P-A-L-E. Pale. P-A-L-E. Pale. P-A-L-E. Pale. Right? Anything. Just think of it. B-A-B-E. Babe. Right? Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah. Sure. But, uh, you know, Spanish style. Babe. Okay. All right. So, uh, babe is basically the pronunciation. B-A-B-E. Babe. All right. Babe. So E doesn't have a sound in English, but in other languages, when E comes at the end and they have an accent, they have sound A. So Nestle. Okay. Cafe. Cafe. Right. C A F E. And there you will see this accent mark. Okay. So cafe. Mm. Work with someone from the other two groups and compare your answers to the questions you did it. Which of the stories is your favorite? Which of the stories is your favorite? Which of the stories is your favorite? Everybody, the stories is or the stories are? Is this correct? Yes, it is correct. Why is it correct? Which is Only story, one which story. Is, which is, is your favorite? Service. Which? Is your, is your favorite? There are three stories. Which is your favorite? Which of the stories? Which of the three stories is your favorite? Which favorite. story is your favorite? If we put R, then which stories are your favorite? Okay. Uh, yes. Which of the stories is your favorite? Tell me. <laughs> My favorite would be, okay. Go ahead, guys. Hello? Are you guys speaking? No. no. I, at least I am not speaking. Go ahead. Please tell me. Which story is your favorite? Which of the three stories? Is it difficult to choose? Okay. Sir, I think... Hello, can you... I slowly yeah. the story is... Interested for me. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Okay. You see, you my me, answer sir? here. Yes, yes, sir. Sir, so my favorite story is chocolate chip cookies. Because chocolate at cookies. least, at least the uh, the recipe maker have some uh, have some. Uh, um, Gift to, to make it. Otherwise, the chips and ice lollies they have nothing. She has at least a lifetime uh, uh, free chocolates in her house, and the uh, picture behind the cookies. Uh, I think uh, she also produced her own brand, Tall House. 
but uh, i think you know, sorry, uh, cookies you, you sometimes uh, impress me oh, oh, wait wait faizan just a second let me give some my some of my feedback to her, what she said so it uh, talks very logically sometimes you know she said at least the person who invented the recipe you know got something because the other two inventors they got nothing one sold his patent cheaply to a company and earned nothing much and the you know chip chip maker that person actually couldn't really make much money from it somebody else actually um, you know made money lays company the she, george could not even get a patent for for this uh, you know new finding or new new recipe the thing is very very good answer logical answer that's why you like it now my answer and then i will listen to everybody else okay or maybe i will hold myself back because i'm the teacher yes faizan you go ahead first so uh, according to um, according to me sir i think ice lolly is very interesting because uh, chocolate chips cookies and crepes are already uh, invented and uh, there are uh, uh, separate things and uh, uh, this, this was this is uh, happen something for mixing and uh, there are like the uh, way it came up right you like the way this this drink or this food item came about jaise bana ye aapko mazedar laga right actually actually sir i want to say i want to say sir uh, biscuits already uh, there and uh, uh, nestle chocolate all already there but sir ice lolly is mean sir ice cream is not it was invented. a totally totally new item right yeah and sir uh, oh, this yes. is the origin for ice cream and uh, nowadays sir we uh, know lots of uh, names uh, of ice cream and we enjoy it na, 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 that's all no 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 paisan no you are mistaken when you think that this was the beginning of ice cream no ice cream has existed for thousands of years okay okay understand sir. ice cream has existed for much much longer ice lollies came uh, about this way okay okay it's uh, it's hold in uh, our hand yeah the bar that you hold with a stick and yeah, suck yes. on it you know yeah, this yes. thing came into existence this way okay now other people please tell me which story is your favorite and why i love sir the crips story because uh, like the shopkeeper was like chef was trying to take revenge from the customer and in this such uh, like revenge they invented a new thing and everybody liked them i was a bit distracted by your like ah uh, everybody like them i thought but everybody likes them also right sir hmm but everybody likes them you talking about lo ice lollies no 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 ah uh, chip crisps okay you don't like that crisps okay chips hmm talk in you know, a potato chips yeah potato chips actually i was saying like it was an incident that chef wanted to uh, teach a lesson to the customer and he thought it will be the worst product he is going to give but it was the best very interesting yeah actually yeah yeah he intentionally wanted to make a bad thing right yes 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 but he liked and it a lot to... and everybody around him uh, liked it uh, a lot and ordered him and, <laughs> right. and and because of this he opened uh, like his own restaurant and there the crisps was very famous but right. unfortunately he was not able to take the pay, uh, patent of that thing and it was lays who took the patent so this was the no lays didn't get the patent lays didn't get the patent nobody got the patent oh okay okay 
if nobody got the patent then then that is uh, very cool it is more nice <laughs> Hmm. Okay, sir. It is more nice or it is more nicer? It is nicer. I I didn't listen actually. It is it is nicer, it is nicer I think. Yeah, it is nicer. Uh, yeah, it is nicer. That is fine, totally. But when I'm using more than. No, you can't use more. Okay, okay. Yeah, fine. Actually, sir, here all all of three stories are... Um, can you stop for two minutes? Because he said, can I use... If I use more. You can't use more when you are making comparative adjectives of single syllable adjectives. Nice is single syllable adjective. You cannot say more nice. Single syllable means... Small adjectives which which have only one vowel sound, tall, nice. Okay, so it Did depends upon the, that sound. How many vowels there are? Yes. If there there are two vowel sounds, three vowel sounds, then you can use more. Otherwise, you use just er, taller, uh, richer, hotter. Uh, as an example, uh. Okay, like beautiful. So uh, she was more beautiful. Mm -hmm. Yeah, all all of three stories are interesting, and uh, every food items uh, uh, became in existence by accident, and really a strange way, and it's uh, when it become it's uh, become really popular. So I would say it's a bit difficult to choose uh, one uh, like ice lolly, uh, Pareto chips, and uh, ch ch chocolate chip cookies. Like first in ice lolly, uh, all uh, all kids are uh, were uh, enjoying. They were making uh, they were making uh, some sorts of juice. But uh, it was it was really cold. Drink. They were making a drink. Uh, they were making a drink, mm -hmm. but uh, it got really cold. So th they left it outside. And when he when he came uh, uh, when he came yesterday when he came uh, the, tomorrow, next the, the the next day he he saw his drink uh, frozen. Mm. He found okay yeah. He found the drink frozen hmm. in the glass, but in uh, and the next um, potato chips, and uh, the chef uh, want to wanted to give a lesson hmm. to first customer, hmm. so he did uh, he he cut uh, very thin, hmm. and uh, when he uh, when the customer got his uh, uh, French fried, he really liked it. Hmm. And the third, uh, the Mary Com, the Mary Wakefield uh, uh, hadn't uh, and hadn't uh, cho chocolate. Didn't have. Uh, didn't have a, a baking chocolate. Right. So he used. That we call yoga. She, she used. She used uh, a makeshift option. The mix. A makeshift option. Okay. So she used, an alternative. An uh, alternative. She used she used an alternative mm -hmm. uh, of uh, Nestle's. So I it uh, become popular. Okay. It is a bit uh, difficult to mm -hmm. choose. All of mm -hmm. these are really interesting. Mm -hmm. Adnan, which story do you find most interesting? Hold it in your hands. You don't? Which one? Christmas story. Hmm. But you don't have a reason why you like it more. <laughs> okay. Never mind. Any other person? Rakhi, Saba, Imrana, Afridi. Yes, sir. Hmm. Uh, I, I don't even I... read that to a story. 
Hmm. I only read about that chocolate chip. What I don't know the name. Chocolate chip cookies. Hmm. Interesting story is because she doesn't. She didn't have any chocolate that she used to bake to bake that. Uh, unfortunately, so, fortunately, she had Nestle's chocolate. Right. And she she thinks let's ex- experiment. Hmm. And uh, it came up very nice, and it was hmm. it was very tasty. She asked her she asked her guest, and they also hmm. liked that. Hmm. So. And after that, she had a deal with Nestle sometimes, company. And... Sometimes cooks, you know, do try alternative options, and sometimes the results are really awful. The yeah. alternative doesn't work, and sometimes the alternative works better than the original idea, the original ingredient in the recipe. All the great thing happened by accident. <laughs> yes, I was born by accident too. Say that. <laughs> that was not an accident. <laughs> <laughs> so you're not great. Okay. Okay. So I have an accident story. Hmm. Hardik son, sir. Hmm. Yeah, it was an accident. <laughs> so Raki, Sahil, Ravi, Saba, Sakib, all of you guys sir, are left. Sir, I didn't read about this stories, so I can't uh, give any opinion. Okay. Where were no you problem. busy last two days, Raki? I didn't say that. I'm here. You are busy, that's why you didn't read the story. No, no, I read all of them. All the three stories. You didn't all find the... interesting. Yeah, I find uh, it was. Uh, I was not talking to sir. I don't know hmm. who it was. Mm-hmm. It is Sabah. Uh, okay, my favorite is ice lollies, and it is because uh, it's uh, it, it invented by a kid. Which is also mm. uh, famous uh, around kids, ice lollies. So that's why, mm. and it was also my favorite in my childhood. I used to mm. eat a lot in my mm. school time. Mm. So that's all. Great. Next. Anybody else wants to speak? Ravi? Sakib? Coffee? Okay. Sahil? Yes, sir. Actually, sir, I, I read about chocolate chip cookies, sir. Then I prefer chocolate chip cookies, sir. Hmm. Sir, when she was when she was going to make baking chocolate, sir, but sir, unfor- unfortunately, she had no any Nestle chocolate, so that time um, she could give up, sir. So, but she didn't. She instead of <laughs> using, yes, sir. So instead of using baking chocolate, she used she used Nestle she used Nestle's chocolate, and uh, and uh, she made she uh, the it taste was great, sir. So. Uh, if if she want if she wanted that time she is she, she she will not make this but she she but she did and it was mm. it was and uh, it taste was great so uh, oh, it was hard for her and her her customer liked it very much mm. right my favorite is also the ice lolly story by the way a lot of people like that ice lolly story. And I like this story for the events in it, you know, that she ke- he kept making these lollies for 17 years without thinking of selling them professionally. Yeah. And when he did sell them professionally, he was very successful. 
17 years later, his popsicles became very popular. But that guy, interesting turn comes, twist comes in the story. He sold his patent. He got a patent for this and he sold his patent to a company that is making billions of dollars today selling popsicles, right? So how it's like, you know, sometimes, uh, Sabaji, you will relate to this story, how some people buy some shares and uh, make some profit and sell the shares and then the share goes on to become a multi-bagger. You see, and you have regrets left, you know? Yes, I'm sir, it always happens with me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, she's saying always happens with me. Oh, okay. I had, I had, I means, was it suddenly or I had never been on, on the camera to, in the, today's class? Guys, my camera turned off suddenly. Suddenly, okay. suddenly. yes, we can see. I, I was on camera earlier, right? Yes. Okay, thank you for yes. highlighting that. <laughs> Now, exercise five. We have 10 minutes. Let's do exercise five. One, two, and three. Complete the text. Your, your options are A and the six options. A and the no article, some, or any. In a grammar class, these all together are called determiners. A and the sum or any. These are called determiners. There are some more determiners. This, that, my, your. But these are also called determiners. Half of the people watching my videos have not subscribed to my channel. It means people are watching you, but they don't like you. That's very no, bad. it means that <laughs> your, your are... subscriber are your student, and your student are not watching your uh, video, and. Uh, uh, the watching count, count by another people who don't subscribe you. That's why you see that. Yeah, I just mm -hmm. uh, uh, said it in sarcasm way. Don't yeah, 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 yeah. That's what I'm saying. That's not very nice, you know, that people don't like me. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I, I felt that. Yeah. Now, what do I do about it? Maybe I should color my hair. Yeah. <laughs>
completed, sir. Just take a look at this. Today, 118 on the 17th, means yesterday, 118 views by people who have subscribed and 285 views by people who have not subscribed. It means two, two times, more than two times, nearly three times, okay? Two and a half times uh, <laughs> by people who are not subscribed. Hi, Karle subscribe. When you're watching the video and if you think it is good, then please subscribe. What's wrong with it, huh? You want me to beg you? You want me to touch your feet or what? Send your feet to me. I will touch. Okay. I'm done. Yes, sir. Frank left a drink outside with the with, with the a stick, stick in it. A stick in it. In in the morning. In the, in the morning, morning, the drink was frozen. Drink was frozen with the. The stick with a stick with in the, the stick. middle of the stick with the stick with the stick with the stick why yeah. stick with the stick. second time a stick the stick. stick the stick in the middle of it the drink was frozen with the stick in the middle of it it was it was an ice lolly it was an ice lolly yes very good two and sir 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 in uh, why not there was in a morning I understand that it was a definite morning that's why you were saying in the morning or anything else ah these are fixed phrases phrases you perhaps never say anything else because it is understood that in the morning is the next morning okay that's why in the morning oh okay okay However, fine. Yeah. You know, always said this way like I study I do my homework in the morning. I don't have breakfast in the morning, right? I don't have a shower in the morning. We are talking about all morning, right? Okay. But still we say that. Two, a customer in... In, in, George, in the George, George restaurant. George restaurant. What are you saying? In the George's restaurant or a customer in George's restaurant? Why are you saying that? No George? articles. George is a, yeah, George is a person. George is a person, right? His restaurant it was. It was George's restaurant. George was the person, right? He was a chef. A customer in George's restaurant. No article. Understand why? George no, is a sir. person. Yeah. Right? In Vanessa's class. In the oh. Vanessa's class. In the Vanessa's class. So why the George's? A customer in George's restaurant ordered some french fries some french the, fries some french fries no, no, some french fries ordered some french, french fries french, french fries. fries he, he sent, sent the fries back he sent the fries, sent back, the fries back and asked and for asked for some thinner ones some thinner ones uh, ravi you said uh, nothing uh, on the topic ravi why is making money. And, <laughs> and Ravi messaged, called me yesterday. Ravi, uh, your friend never messaged me. You wanted to listen, guys. That's why I stop you from sharing the link directly with your friend. Don't share the Zoom link directly with your friend because that will not make them feel responsible in the class. You see, when somebody has talked to the teacher and then they come to the class, then they feel like this is the right process, right? If somebody directly comes to the classroom, no, sir, he is not the... my friend. Uh, he is a uh, huh? he is a um, never away, but he is your YouTube uh, student. YouTube student, great. Uh, yeah. So he didn't message and, me. And Why? he watched. Uh, and he watched your video. 
I say Great. I said your number, but I don't mm -hmm. know why. What yes, please ask why he didn't message me. Maybe he got too busy or something. But remember, I you know some of my students are very you know excited about making my channel big and they're trying their best. But I want to tell them all that remember what you had asked me in the beginning, uh, Faizan, that are you going to be okay with less number of views? I said it won't bother me at all because I have learned a few things about teaching and learning English, okay? Masses and classes, okay? I am not a teacher for the masses. I can teach select students, hey, listen, are you guys idiots that you are paying the second time to be in my class? Simple question. If you have not felt the difference, improvement in yourself, why would you pay if you didn't feel the difference? It so you're learning, but it. this learning comes with time. And I'm sorry, there are people who are looking for shortcuts. So I don't want to... Faizan, are you here? Yeah, yeah. What did we say? What do we say that we uh, upload our video and then uh, put something like a, like class and something thumbnail? template? Thumbnail? Thumbnail? Yeah, thumbnail. 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 Your thum your thumbnail thumbnail is not good, sir. You know, sir, you have to use your different thumbnail, like a topic, a, this topic, a and and something some. Yeah, right. I, 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 no. No, Sai, no, this no, is no, a startup. No. Not a. He's not a. Um, no, why if I I, 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 I do in a starting, this is bad. Let no, no. Thumbnail is good answer. and content is answer. also Let good. Answer. Let me answer. Let me answer. From tomorrow, what I'm gonna do? I will start the class. When I start the class, I will first of all say a sentence or two to those people who might come. Uh, you know, stumble upon my channel and they will find this video and they will watch. I will address them. Right now, I'm saying nothing to yes, my sir, this viewers, is a right? good. Yeah, sir, this is a good idea to first you say... I'm yes, going sir. to okay. share my ideology, my understanding of English language. Every la every day, two minutes, one minute, I will dedicate to repeating the same line. No, sir, this is okay? not enough. I'm more than five, five, five minutes. No, 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 because I have to do it in all videos. If you get a video, you get a message Ki bhai, there is a reason why you haven't learned English till date. Okay? And there is a special video that I have. Uh, and and put, also, put, sir, uh, please put, uh, please put uh, this you topic on your thumbnail. That's my signature video. Everybody will see that first. Because in that video, I'm explaining the reasons why people don't learn to speak English. Where the problem lies. Okay? Once somebody watches that, and if they feel convinced, they are going to be successful with me. I will never be able to teach spoken English to people in big groups. It's just not possible. It's just not possible. Okay. It's always going to be a small group, sir. 30, 40, 50 people. Yes. Hello. Why you don't put yes, this topic on your thumbnail? Yes, I'm going to do that, Rabbi. I'm going to do that. Within a day or two. Within a day or two. I'll do it. Last. Okay. We will do it tomorrow. It's 7.32. Uh, why people don't learn English or fail to learn English despite trying hard? Okay, okay, yeah. The challenges in language learning. Just make so, a guys, minute, three minute video and upload that every day. Yeah, yeah, it's not. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I know. I said this, but sir has, I think, no time. That's why. See, uh, put whole video you have camera you have mic if i have, I have camera, he has huh? but he has i think said he has no time he is very busy if i have said your voice is not uh, but uh, my bye bye sir bye bye sir your bye bye sir <laughs> your voice is not coming bye 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 sir, bye -bye, sir. Yeah, I we will talk about this topic tomorrow.